A few people have asked me to show an Anglican Missal. I have here the People's Anglican Missal in the center of the stack, which is intended to give you a sense for its dimensions. The book on the top is a St. Joseph Daily Missal, a Roman Catholic Missal from 1957, and this is a recent printing from Oxford of the 1928 American Book of Common Prayer. So we will unstack them, and I will show it to you. This is a volume that I bought at a used bookstore in Huntsville, Alabama in 1993, and the paper is amazing in this. It used to belong to someone, I can't make out the name, and I paid for five dollars for it in 93. People's Anglican Missal in the American edition. And look at how white this paper is. You'll see in a second when it was printed. Printed in the United States of America in 1971. So this book turns 52 this year. Copyright is 61 by Frank Gavin Liturgical Foundation. And here we are at the table of contents. I'm not an expert in the Missal. I think I've only attended one or two services conducted by in accordance with a missile, so I really don't know it that well. We will flip through the table of contents here and a bit of the introduction. Perhaps I should put this on the stand to make it more stable for you. So we have preparations for the Mass. Prayers for general use, Thanksgiving after Mass, additional prayers of Thanksgiving. And what we'll concentrate on here in this short video, hopefully short, is we will look at the, uh, the Mass itself, that service. But I wanted to show you some of the rest of the book. So here's the calendar, and I believe calendar is spelled with a K in this one. So there's the calendar for July. General calendar in a column on the left and local calendars on the right. We can go through the Christian year. Let's get two months. August and September. October and November. Then we come to the proper of the season. So we have these readings for the services. Readings and the secret prayer and the introit. And all the, the Sundays whose names have changed in the modern Roman Catholic Church. I've heard that pronounced in multiple different ways. I'm not going to attempt the quin, the quas, and the septas. Number days, so with Tuesday and Passion Week at the Palm Sunday Mass. We may, after we look at the uh, service itself, we may go back and look at the Holy Week readings, because I think you'll find that they're more like the older readings, um, the older ones before they were changed in the 50s in the Roman Catholic service. So here we are, more, more readings for Ember, Ember Days. Uh, St. Joseph, spouse, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, St. Athanasius, so Saint's Days, and it goes on and on. Let's see, we're on page 575 here on the right, and we still have quite a lot to go. Virgin Mary, the prayer book common of any saint so ever. Masses of St. Mary on Saturday, goes on. Masses for the Dead. Absolution for the Dead, St. Damasus, Joseph of Arimathea, Paul of the Cross, Solemnity of St. Benedict, Joachim and Anne, Lawrence Justinian, Euphemia, Margaret Mary, Stole of the American Episcopate, and an alphabet, alphabetical index, so if you want to know where to find a particular saint, we have an index. And then, notes for manuscript masses. 
So I'll put it on the stand and we will take a look at the mass. The font in this particular edition that I own here is about eight and a half points. So it's readable. And uh, again, the paper is really very nice. So we start with the ordinary and canon of the Mass, and this is an essay, How to Worship the Eucharist. And it is several pages long. I'm trying to show each page in case you want to freeze it and attempt to read it most widely used liturgy in all Christendom. The meaning of some liturgical terms and usages. Reason for the ceremonial. How the calendar teaches the faith. It's a little difficult from on this side of the book to turn the pages from the other side, but we'll continue. All right, and then we get to the ordinary of the Mass with the part one, the Mass of the Catechumens, preparatory prayers. And you will see um, here that there are Latin titles for various prayers here, and if you follow along in your Catholic Missal, you'll see that they map. Here's the uh, St. Joseph Missal, Mass of the Catechumens, beginning of the Mass, in the name of the Father, then Judica May. Not sure if that's pronounced right, but that's what that says here. So here we have Confitior Deo, and that's what we have here. So I think this, this tracks fairly well to the Catholic Mass. Those of you who are experts in the traditional Latin Mass will know whether this is a decent translation of that service into archaic English. There are differences, and we'll see a few of those in a minute. So we get to the lessons, the gradual, prayer before the gospel, we have the creed, notices for sermons, notices and sermon and other instructions. Then we get to part two, the Mass of the Faithful. And there's also uh, a lot of information that's uh, added here in addition to the rubrics. There are explanatory notes here within the service. The oblation of the offertory. And we, again, we're still with Latin entitled prayers. The Liturgy of the Incense. and then prayer over the oblations, the secrets or the prayer for the church. So whenever you find something like this, which doesn't appear to be in your missal, it probably comes from the Book of Common Prayer. I'm just turning now to find it. And so here we have this prayer from the Book of Common Prayer that begins Almighty and Everlasting God and goes down and also says, and we also bless thy holy name. Uh, you'll see that's this prayer here, Almighty and Everlasting God, through, and we also bless thy holy name. So I think as a general rule, if you see material that isn't uh, listed with a Latin paragraph title, then it's probably from the Book of Common Prayer. With the preface to the canon of the Mass, and uh, proper prefaces from the Book of Common Prayer. Other proper prefaces. A note on the Canon of the Mass. Then the commemoration of the living, the departed, and the saints in heaven. Prayer of the Gregorian Canon. And this is the one that starts, Therefore, most gracious Father, through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, we humbly beseech thee, and we desire, etc. 
So that is an archaic translation of this. Therefore, most gracious Father, we humbly beg of you and entreat you. Yeah, prayer of consecration. Unification with our Lord or administration of Holy Communion. And so it does um, retain the English conform of what is Anglican form of what's said at the distribution. Feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. And the communion anthem, the Gloria and Excelsis is in the traditional Anglican location after communion. So sort of giving thanks for communion, celebrating, celebrating the Mass, and that is that. Before we end the video, I think I'll just show you some of the readings from Holy Week. This is Monday in Holy Week, starting here on the right-hand side. So we read the Passion from Mark, chapter 14. Now here's Tuesday. And the Wednesday service. Monday, Thursday. Again, uh, I'm not highly knowledgeable here. I'm just trying to show you this, so if you are interested, you can pause, and hopefully your screen is large enough that will allow you to read anything you see here of interest. Good Friday. Passion from John 19 starts on the right. The collects. And we do have a collect for the Jews. I think it's rather similar to the one in my 57 missile. Good Friday. Continues. Holy Saturday. Blessing of the candle. Prophecies. Blessing of the font. Holy Sabbath litany. And then the Mass of Easter even. And we're at seasonal prayers. So if you do find one of these, you uh, will notice that it is a sewn binding. So you have a sewn bi binding. You have very good paper to have yellowed that little in 50 years. And the dimensions are 6 and uh, 5 eighths inches tall and about 4 and 3 quarters inches wide. And it looks like a little over 1 and a quarter is thick. So thanks very much for watching this brief video. I hope it was helpful to those of you that are interested in acquiring a copy of the Anglican Missal.